Hello. Very recently, Moodle Cloud has brought a restriction that the sites created by uh, individual users on Moodle Cloud, it will be available only for 45 days. So it was a major concern for individual users that if you are creating a website in Moodle Cloud, um, and if it is available only for 45 days, how do we manage and uh, we were all, all worried about that. Now I will, I'm coming with a solution to this. I will introduce another site where we can create uh, Moodle websites without any restriction. You can have uh, up to 1000 users for your website and you can manage any number of courses without any restriction, you can manage the courses. So like this, there is a website where you can create uh, Moodle websites free of course. So I am going to that uh, website. So I will go to this. And if we want to uh, create your website, so you go to Google. You go to Google and there you search for G no Mio Moodle. You search for Genomio Moodle, and we will be uh, there. Will be a listing like Genomio Moodle, and we are going to create a website here. And we are into that page. So this is the Genomio website where we can create the uh, Moodle website. And here you type uh, a website name. So I type my VC. So it stands for my virtual class. And the website address of our Moodle website will be like this, myvc.genomio.co. And uh, uh, this has to be a unique uh, website address. So if somebody has already selected this, you will not be able to create this website. So you have to search for a unique name for your website. And here you will have to give your email ID also. Then you select your language and uh, you select you check this button that you have read the red and you agree with the terms and conditions. And I have already registered my uh, website address, myvcgenomeo.com. So if I try to create my website, it will give me a warning that this site name is already being used. So we will have to find out a unique name for our website. Once we give a unique name, so if I give one here, this may be a unique name so like this we have to identify a unique name for our own Moodle website once it is ready you can uh, click on this create site so once you click on create site then we will be getting we'll be getting a mail like this in our mailbox so it may take some time maybe uh, five, ten, five minutes or up to 10 minutes or you may wait up to 15 minutes and if you are not getting a mail in the uh, your common inbox then you may also have to search in the trash folder or social folder or promotions because uh, it, it may be treated as a spam or mail by Google so you search in different you search in spam you search in social folder or promotions somewhere in one of these inboxes you will be getting a, a mail so once we get the mail you just open this and we are getting the mail like this is our website uh, https myvc.genomeo.com you can open this and they have created an account for us and this is the admin account so there is only one account admin account and this is the password for our website so with this credentials, we can now log into our website. So I am just going to my website. And uh, this is our uh, the first appearance of our website. Then uh, you can log in here. So if you want to log into this website, you log in here. Then uh, there is only one user for this website. It is administrator. Then we need to type the password also. This password is provided through the uh, email so you copy and paste that password from there then you log in so i am about to log into my module website so i am inside my uh, module website then the first thing you can do is you can go to site administration or 
not to site administration uh, you can go to this uh, right side you can go to this um, drop down menu where your um, account information is displayed and you go to preferences and in preferences you can change your password so uh, because this password is provided by genomi site and you can uh, type the already existing password provided by them here then you type your new password here and again you repeat your new password and save changes so that you can have your own password admin password for the website so this is how we create the uh, website by using genome site and this website uh, creation is absolutely free and as such there is no restriction for number of users and number of um, uh, courses you can offer uh, through this uh, once you uh, are into this now like any other module website you can manage this this is your dashboard and this is site home so once we go to site home there is no course now then uh, you can start creating courses by going through site administration so in site administration uh, we can see these are the site administration options so if you want to create a new course we have the manage courses and categories here if you want to create users we have the options for adding new users and uh, if you want to upload users you can upload users and you can manage your website so this is how we can create hope you will be able to create a new website thank you and bye